Air Force card is going to be a shirt card. And that's how you will open that up. Our second card is going to be an easel card. So I'm gonna show you the side. See how that becomes an easel card? All right, that's gonna be the second one. You won't wanna miss the measurements for that. And then, I thought so, Sharon, I thought so. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, the, the, the designer paper we're using tonight is gone, all right? And I thought it was, because every day I plug in the item number and the name and nothing comes up. And then we're gonna make this card tonight using some of our basic borders. And then that's how this one opens, all right? So we have lots to do tonight and um, lots of pieces, lots of pieces with these cards. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Laura. I know sometimes, Laura, I forget about all these fun folds, right? So tonight we'll do some fun folds, okay? <laughs> Sue's been taking care of her grandson. Aw, that is awesome. That is just great. Um, yes, Carol. Um, Carol's asked me if it has been hard to make Father's Day cards. As many of you know, my, my, my dad passed away in February. And um, it wasn't hard to make them, Carol. But um, he is definitely on my mind this week. And I kind of want to skip over Sunday. I kind of wish I could do that. <laughs> but I will tell you this. Every single Father's Day and probably birthday too, I always gave him a shirt. So that is a really good memory. So, all right, well, we're gonna get started with the first one, okay? And I'm actually going to start, we're in the mini, ladies, all right? The mini catalog, it's page 66 and 67. Thanks, Maria. Um, we just talked about the designer paper. It's gone, it is sold out. But the good news is the stamp set and the dies carried over to the new catalog. So we still have them. I'm glad because as most of you know, we really don't get many masculine sets. So this is a really nice one to have in your collection, all right? Even after it retires, maybe it'll retire a year from now. You know, I always keep my masculine sets just because we don't have that many, okay? Oh, Carol, I feel you for sure. All right, so we're gonna start with, oh, I know what we're gonna start with. I wanna show you some of the die pieces. Hi, Billy, welcome. It is very hard, Sharon, absolutely. And I'm grateful that I still have my mom. So, and I have my aunt who's watching tonight. She's, she's, she's my second mom, so. All right, did you hear that, Aunt Ethel? <laughs> okay, so I wanna show you the dies and what they do. And shame on me, I didn't get a chance to fix a card for us. You know how I like to cut out all the dies and all the stamped images and cut them up for you and show you how it all lays out? I didn't get a chance to do that today. Um, but anyway, I can still show you um, all the little pieces and parts. They're just not glued down, okay? First of all, this piece, and you're gonna actually get to see me cut this tonight, and it's this piece right here. So this piece of paper is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Hi, Sharon. And I took this die and I cut this so that I could put a shirt behind this. So you'll get to see me do that tonight, okay? And so that's why that piece is there. Then there is a die that cuts out the, um, okay, I know the name of this. Is it lapel? I'm trying to think. I think it's lapel. <laughs> okay, so this piece right here, there's a die for this where you would cut this out and you could layer this. See how this is becoming a suit jacket? Hi, Sally, welcome. Okay, so you've got those pieces. Then you get this adorable little 
pocket. And you also get, you see this little stitched bar? Well, it can go right across that pocket and make it more detailed, okay? I'm gonna scoot in so y'all can see better. I probably, that's too far in, okay? Now, you also get the tie die, D-I-E, and you get two different ties that you can stamp and cut out, okay? <laughs> they do look like spaghetti uh, uh, tongs, um, Lee. I hadn't thought of that. So here are the two different ties, okay? Or you can also cut out your tie with designer paper, which is what we're doing tonight, okay? Then you get two different bow ties, all right? And I don't, we're gonna use the bow tie tonight so you'll get to see that, okay? Then there's this piece right here. This is also stitched along the sides. This has a couple of purposes. First, tonight, we're going to use it, um, and Billy, help me out, because you're a seamstress. What is this called, Billy, where you put the buttons on it? I don't know if that has a name or not, um, but anyway, it will cut this out for the middle of the shirt, and then you can add buttons. The other thing you can do with this is, you can put this here, and this can be suspenders, all right? So let me show you what you can do with those. I took some silver foil, all right? Some silver foil sheets, and this is the buckle to the suspenders. And so, you could put your buckle about right there, okay? So that's one of the pieces. And I'm trying to see, does it cut out too? It, there are two of these dies in the set. So you can cut out two at one time, okay? Then you can take that same little bar that I used to trim the pocket, cut it in half, and then the adjustable part of the suspender can go right across there and you can cut it, all right? Isn't that cool? And this piece right here is the collar of the shirt. All right, we're gonna use this one tonight. It can also be used as a hanky, and we're gonna learn how to do that tonight as well, okay? Um, oh, and the other cool thing, this is a really cool piece. These are six buttons. So when you go to cut your buttons for your shirt, you'll cut six at one time instead of one at a time. These work great with the adhesive sheets, and I'm gonna show you how to do that tonight as well. All right, isn't it cute? It's just adorable. Um, also, I didn't tell you this, but that bow tie can also be the hanky. So I'll mention that when we do that tonight. Um, okay, so there's one other piece in here, and it's this piece right here, okay? Now, I'm assuming this goes with the tie, all right, so here is your tie die. <laughs> Let me pick this up again. I need somebody to tell me where do we put this? Does this go over the tie? What does this little piece do? I did some searching on Pinterest and I couldn't find anything. So let me know what this piece does. I know I have some demonstrators watching and then there's one other piece. Oh, and I just thought of something. Okay, so you know how this works. I'm gonna move this, okay? This can also become a belt, okay? And this could be the belt buckle, all right? And that would be your belt, okay? 
um, Carol. I kind of thought so too. That might be the knot part of the um, tie. <laughs> I did go to YouTube, Maria, and I haven't found any videos that tell me. I think it's the knot for the tie too. I really do. And I meant to ask Tom, um, but I totally forgot about it. So anyway, okay. So this piece can be the panel for the buttons, the suspenders, and the belt. Thank you, Pam. It goes over top of the tie at the top. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Okay, I knew you ladies would know. And so that's why I wanted to ask you. All right. So you've seen all the pieces and parts. And by the way, these two bow ties are different sizes. And you can stamp this bow tie and the top can be in the pocket. And it can be the little hanky in the pocket. You've got five greetings here, which is really nice. And um, it's just super cute. It's called Handsomely Suited. It's available right now as a bundle, uh, giving you 10% off. If you order it after June 30th, you, you'll have to purchase them separately and not you won't have the 10% savings, okay? So I wanted you to know that. And this is the card we're going to start on. All right, so we're gonna get ready for that. Now, I will tell you, um, these cards have lots of pieces. So I have already done most of the cutting although some of the cutting we are going to do together, okay? So, ooh, how much is it? Oh, I can tell you, here's my catalog. So the bundle, Maria, is um, $47.50, and that's with the 10% savings. I am giving away the twine tonight as a free gift, all right? So hang around to the end, we'll have a drawing for the twine, and I'm giving away all three cards tonight, all right? All right, I'm gonna take a sip of water and we're gonna make this, um, this shirt card. And I'll let you look. Here it is, there's your stamp set and there's the dies and you can see all the little pieces, but it's just super, super cute. Okay. All right. So for my shirt, we're gonna make a different one, okay? That's the first thing we're gonna do. Ooh, good question, Laura. Will the sleeves fit in the envelope? Laura, what I would suggest is folding the sleeve in or folding it back and it will fit in an envelope. So, when I, so whoever wins this card tonight, I'll be folding in the sleeves and then it will go into the mail, okay? Uh, the piece where the buttons go is called the placket. Thank you, Carol. I, I wondered what that was. <laughs> That's right, Maria. Don't go anywhere. Hey, Dawn. Welcome. All right, you ready? So our shirt card, and you know, I'm going to grab my ruler, but I will tell you, I know the measurement of this. It is four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. So it is the size of this card base, okay? I meant to grab my, um, my ruler earlier today and forgot to do it. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna design the shirt first and then we'll put it on the card base, okay? All right, next thing we want to do is um, we are going to put the placket on, okay? Now, ladies, this is where I need your help, okay? I'm going to let you decide. I have an idea. The placket can certainly be the same as the shirt, but it can be really hard to see, right? So I kind of thought it would be nice if the placket was Pacific Point. All right, follow me. Here's the pocket. Guess what the pocket's gonna become? The sleeve. Then I'll put the sleeve there, and there's Pacific Point. What do you think of that? I think I like that. I think the placket will, it'll make it pop. So let's go with that. 
Um, as far as the collar, hang on a second. Let's see what we want to do here. We can, ooh, oh, I'm loving that. I'm already loving that. That can be our collar, or we can use this piece of designer paper to be our collar. Okay, ooh, I kind of like that. Okay, so we got some ideas here. Alrighty, um, I am going to um, pop up the collar, okay? I, I think it gives um, dimension to this shirt, of course. You certainly don't have to pop it up, but, um, but I think once we put it together, <laughs> oh good. <laughs> Oh, and I, let's see, you could put this card she's making in a yellow envelope too. Hmm. All right. All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do first, ladies, I am going to put the collar on first. Okay, and I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to eye this, okay, to find the center of the shirt. All right. So I could probably even use grid paper if I wanted. But I'm just going to eye it, and I think it's going to go right there, okay? And that's going to be, now I can turn it around. <laughs> I know, isn't that fun, Peggy? And it really, it's going to really make it pop, because if everything was in flowers, it would just kind of all blend together, right? Okay, so now we're going to do our Pacific Point Placket, okay? All right. And I'm gonna, we don't have to pop this up if we don't want to because it definitely does, um, it makes the card pop anyway. So I think, I think I'm just going to tape, you know what, I'm gonna glue it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of Tombow glue right along that, the back of the placket, okay? And then I'm gonna come in here, put it right under that collar. All right, I might wanna line this up so I get my placket straight. Okay, so hopefully I've done that. All right, yep, got that done. Um, we are going to, are we stamping a bow or do I have one? I actually have a bow tie already made, okay? And, you know, the reason I did this tonight is because we have three cards to get through, and it's a lot of the same pieces being cut over and over. And quite honestly, there are a lot of dies, and there's a lot of things you can do with this. So, um, you know what? I had used this bow tie on something earlier. Hang on, I want to take that off and put that dimensional right in the center. So hang on. There we go. Now I can take a mini, put it about right there. This is going to be a super cute shirt. And so now he's got a little Pacific Point bow tie. What do you think? <laughs> um, the cardstock measurements for the card base is standard, so it's five and a half by eight and a half. The designer paper is measuring four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches, okay? All right, I'm gonna trim off the placket that we're not using. Okay, remember this placket, it can be suspenders, you just have to cut two, and it can also be a belt, all right? So don't forget about those things, okay? All right, so not only does this serve as a pocket, but it serves as a sleeve. Isn't that cool? So I'm gonna use a glue dot for this one. And that way, if I need to re reposition the sleeve, I can. Isn't this cute? I'm loving it. I like it better than my other shirt that I made earlier. All right, so there we are. There's the cute little sleeve. Here is another one of the pockets. Now, earlier, ladies, I this is the little um, the little strip. Um, I know I like the Pacific Point too, Jeanne. I've already put adhesive on the back of this adhesive sheets, 
So all I have to do is peel that up. Now I'm gonna show you how to use an adhesive sheet tonight for the buttons, okay? So it's coming. So in case you've forgotten how to use the adhesive sheet, um, it's right there. All right. And let's see, here we go. We're ready to add that sleeve now. All right, and I think I'll put that one about right there. Yep, that should work. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Hang on, I wanna get this just right. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's our shirt so far. Now we're going to um, put some buttons on this all right and that's where i'm going to show you the adhesive sheet okay and by the way i'm gonna go with navy buttons what do you think think that's a good idea okay so i'm using some of stampin up's adhesive sheets all right and let me get the package so i can tell you what it looks like Okay, so when you purchase our adhesive sheets, and this is item number 152334, um, the package is six inches by 12 inches, okay? So, and there are 12 sheets in here. So this would last you a very long time, okay? So I want you to know what the package looks like. And so now, this is just one of my little scraps. So I'm peeling off the adhesive and I'm gonna add it to the Knight of Navy cardstock, okay? Now, I'm gonna do that again. So I'm just gonna kinda measure here. All right, by the way, when you apply the adhesive, it doesn't have to be perfect, all right? I'm trying to peel up that little piece of adhesive paper. There we go, this is the sticky side. And then this is gonna go there, okay? And see how imperfect that is? But that's fine, it will work, okay? So hang on one second, we're gonna run that through the Big Shot. And we are going to do, um, the words a happy birthday to you and I've already taken the time to cut those out and it'll go right there okay so we'll do that in a bit but we're going to take um, the stamp and cut emboss machine now and we're gonna cut out these buttons so that you can see how the buttons work all right All right, so I've got to move everything out of the way here. And I'm gonna bring in my machine. I'm gonna zoom out, okay? We're gonna cut some navy buttons. Now, the mini would be perfect for this. You know our little mini machine? It would be absolutely perfect for these buttons. But tonight, I'm gonna be using um, the machine for some other items that are bigger. And so um, that's why I'm using this one. But you could definitely use your mini. All right, so I am going to just lay my buttons there and I'm laying it on the cardstock, not the adhesive, all right? And that's important, all right? Once you put that adhesive on, it becomes the back of the paper, okay? All right. All righty, so there's my buttons. All right, cut out. Let me put the die away, all right, because I don't want to lose this. I love it because you can cut six buttons at once which is pretty much what you need for the shirt. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna bring this back in. And now I'm gonna use my take your pick tool. 
and I'm going to peel that adhesive right off of the button, okay? I'm going to zoom in now so that you all can get a bird's eye view of this. How about that? Navy button's coming up. So the first button that I'm going to put on is going to go, let me see, I'm going to put it about right here. The button even has stitching. And you probably can't see that, but there is a little X on the button. How cute is that? Now my next button, and again, whoops, these things are easy to lose. All right, so hang tight. I'm going to get that little piece of paper off. That's probably the hardest thing about the whole button. <laughs> it's so much easier, Peggy. Absolutely. Especially for little things, Peggy. All right, so what I've done is I've put a button down here because what I'm trying to do is to kind of center them without measuring. <laughs> Aren't these cool? Now, um... For some of you who are in my hostess clubs, um, the next, the second card that we're doing tonight, that easel card, we did that as a club card. And so if you've got that, you can pull that out tonight and make yours while, um, while we do this one. All right, here goes another button. Just trying to get this paper off. This is the hardest part. All right, there we go. It's not too bad though. And that adhesive just sticks to the point. And so by doing that, you know what? Do I even need another? Yeah, I'm gonna put one more button. All right, I'll put that one there. All right, you can't see what I'm doing. Let me bring that button over here, pull the paper off. Now you can always use your glue. What I would do, um, if you have this set and you're making buttons, make a bunch of them. Make them in different colors. Um, and by doing that, you won't have to cut, you know, six buttons every time you make a shirt. All right? Well, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Simone wants to win this one. All right, this is a greeting from the stamp set, okay? And it says, a happy birthday to you. And I'm gonna scroll, yeah, zoom back out. And I'll put that about right there. I don't even have to put it on this shirt. Um, it could certainly go on the inside of the card. Here's our card base. So now I'm going to tape everything. I know the buttons are precious. Hello, Judy. Nice to have you. Isn't it cute? <laughs> it's just adorable. All right. So I'm putting adhesive. Look at the paper on this side. Unfortunately, paper is gone. All right. And mine's gone too. I have just a few pieces left. All right. So this is where I am going to adhere the front of this card. Now, you can make your designer paper smaller and then have some of the card base showing, but um, I just like doing it like this, and then you would open it like this, all right? Isn't that a cute shirt? There it is. Now, to mail this, I would fold this inside, all right, towards the inside of the card, but I just realized I did something. I put adhesive on the sleeves, and I shouldn't have, and so what I'll probably do, oh, I think this will take care of it. So don't put adhesive on the back of the sleeves, all right? It looks like I can get that off, and so I'll work on that later. It could be a lady shirt, absolutely. And instead of bow ties, you could do a pearl necklace. How about a diamond necklace, Gail? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> All right, so that's our first card, okay? All right, well, we're gonna move on to the easel card now. Let me get this out of the way. 
Now, with the easel card, I actually have three different um, suits, and you'll get to see some of that paper now that was part of the, um, the suite. All right, hi, Kay. All right, now I did find this card on YouTube, um, and then I found some other suit, um, um, oh, what do I wanna call it? Some other suit choices, I guess. But remember, this is an easel card that stands up, and I'm gonna show you how to make that easel card tonight, okay? So this is the gray flannel suit. Isn't that cute? Now, for my ladies who I see on a monthly basis, and you're in Hostess Club, this is your card this month. So I know Sue can't make it on Saturday, but Sue, I will send you the supplies and you can make this card, okay? It'll be all die cut for you, but no stamping, all right? So Lynn, I know you were not at Hostess Club. Um, you had to be away. And so if you wanna grab your kit, you can make this right along with us. Here is another card. And again, it's an easel card. Does the same thing, just with a different shape, all right? So now that's two cards there. <laughs> I know, Gail, you get to make one of these. Hi, Brenda. All right, and then, all right, where's my other one? What did I do with the cards we're making tonight? Here they are, hang on. This is the third option, and this is actually the one that we're going to make tonight, all right? Aren't these snazzy? These are some snazzy suits, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to make these. I will take pictures of all of them, okay? And they will be posted. All right, so this is the one we're gonna make this evening. And this is actually this piece right here, all right? First of all, let's talk about the card base, all right? I'm gonna show you how to cut it and score it, okay? All right, so we're using basic gray cardstock and it is eight and a half by 11 inches, all right? So it's standard cardstock, okay? Thanks, Denise. All right, well, we're gonna do a little bit of scoring. We're going to score at, I just wanna make sure I'm doing it, yeah, I'm doing it right, five and a half. All right, that's first place. Now, I'm scoring this and so you'll actually get two cards out of one sheet of cardstock, okay? So you can make two of these. All right, then the next one you're going to, to score is at the two and three quarters mark, all right? So score lines are two and three quarters and five and a half. And this is on the 11 inch side. Now you're going to rotate this and you're going to cut it at four and a quarter inches because when you cut it at four and a quarter, you're cutting it in half. And ladies, you've got two card bases. So you can make two of the suit cards, okay? And so that's how it becomes an easel card. It's basically just a card base and then it's scored in half, okay? All right. Now we do have a few pieces to cut here, so we're definitely going to be cutting this piece right here. Now this is designer paper from that um, masculine package. It is four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches, all right? I have already cut the lapel, okay? So that part's done. And let's see what else. Like I told you, these things have tons of pieces. I've already cut the tie. I've cut the pocket and the little trim that's gonna go there. I've cut the hanky 
and I've already cut the collar, okay? Two things I'll show you. You'll cut a white collar for the shirt, and then you're going to cut another collar with the designer paper that matches the tie. And then I'm gonna show you how to make this collar the hanky that goes in the pocket, okay? So I'll be showing you how to do that. And then the other piece you need is the basic white. And again, this is gonna measure four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? And it's the same size as the designer paper, okay? We're going to need the die that cuts the suit, need that V, okay? And I'll bring in our stamp and cut machine for this. And this is why I needed my big machine tonight because I've got this wide piece of paper and um, it won't fit in our little mini. I wish it did. Okay, so to place this on your card, of course you can measure the amount of space here and here, but you don't have to measure. You can just kind of eye it, okay, which is what I'm gonna do. All right, and that's what I did with the other cards. And then I'm going to take the cutting pad and I'm going to cut, all right? Okay. And then when it comes out, this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna take some paper snips and I'm gonna snip that. And most of the time, that's what will happen when you use this die. All right, I can go ahead and move this. All right. And here is where I'm just going to snip, okay? And it just comes right off. Okay, so now the next thing we'll do is we'll take our tie and we're going to take the white collar, okay? So here's the white collar and I'm going to flip my collar over to the back and at this point I'll go ahead and zoom in and you all can get a closer look. I'm actually going to put a little bit of Tombow here, just a little bit, okay? If you have the fine tip glue pen, that's good too. Then you're going to flip over your tie to the back. This is the back of my tie. And then I'm just going to glue these two together. Now what you want to do is you want to glue that tie right under that V, okay? So I'm gonna flip it over, and that way the tie does not show up here. Does that make sense? I'm gonna give that a few minutes to dry, and then I'm going to take the white shirt, and I'm going to take the suit, and I'm just gonna lay them together. Okay, I'm not going to adhere the designer paper to the white shirt yet, okay? All right. Now that that's had a chance to dry a little bit, you can use Tombow glue, or you could use a glue dot if you want, or your fine tip glue pen, and you're just gonna put some glue on the back. I probably put too much glue there. Now, the reason I have put the suit over here is because this is going to help me center the collar and the tie. And so that's why it's there. I'm just gonna leave it right there. And then this is where the collar's gonna go and the tie, okay? We can straighten up the tie later. It really does look like it's a bit crooked. Um, I can't even pick this up. There we go. All right. 
and you'll just give that a few minutes to dry, okay? Now, let's go back and let's look. I think it's actually fine. So now I'm ready to tape this down, okay? So that's what I'll do next. Now, something very important here. When you adhere this to the basic white cardstock, you wanna be sure that you adhere it from the top to the bottom. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Okay? All right. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I know, doesn't it, Carol? Doesn't it? Oh my gosh. All right, so what I mean by that is, as I attach this, I'm working from the top down, okay? Sometimes this whisper white paper or the basic white paper might be too long for the designer paper. And we want everything to line up. And so we're gonna line up that designer paper. It is really hard for me to see that white shirt on this white grid paper, but I think I got it. Okay. All right. Now, down here at the bottom, I have a little bit of whisper white showing. It's not a lot, and it's probably not gonna be a big deal, but I am gonna go ahead and trim that, okay? Just gonna trim the bottom off, and you'll see why later. That has to do with the actual easel card. All right, so now we're going to use a basic gray lapel and at this point, you can either glue this down or you can even pop it up, believe it or not, all right? I know, doesn't the tie look, it looks like a Brooks Brothers tie, doesn't it? All right. I'm gonna use some of our minis and I am gonna pop up the lapel. I think it gives the suit dimension, to be quite honest but you certainly don't have to. That one's not working at all. Okay, and now I have no minis here, so I've got to cut some. And it's hard to get there at the bottom. You probably won't be able to do that. All right. Now, does anyone have any questions so far? Has anyone created a tie with this set? this set yet, not a tie, a suit or a shirt. Has anyone used their set? All right. And we really have about enough. Okay, move that out of the way. All right. <laughs> I know, Sue, aren't you surprised that I'm popping something up? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now again, you don't have to pop up the lapel, okay? But it does make it stand out, all right? All right, so I'm just gonna peel this off. All right, here we go. Ooh, hey Diane, you're right, better late than never. You're right. <laughs> it could be a sweater. It would be a great sweater, Diane. Wait till you see the first card we made. You'll see it soon. Oh, okay, so Lisa bought a few packs of the designer paper and she plans to use it for all of her male birthday cards in 2022. Lisa, that is an awesome idea. Oh, and Pam has made one for the groomsmen for a wedding, and I've seen that on Pinterest, and it's beautiful. So that's awesome. I'm so glad y'all are using your set. All right, girls, I'm kind of working from the V up, okay? And I am just applying this along that edge, all right? So that's what we have so far. Now we're ready for the pocket and the hanky. So for the pocket, I did decide on a basic gray pocket. And then I'm going to put the little navy bar, okay, across the top of the pocket. 
and I'm just going to add, oops, add a little bit of Tombow there because this doesn't have an adhesive sheet on it. But if we had that adhesive sheet, wouldn't that be awesome? All right. I'll just make sure that I have that straight. Looks like I do. That can start drying. And now we're going to talk about the scar, okay, or the, the handkerchief. All right. Now, with the handkerchief, we're going to use the collar, okay? I know, doesn't it look nice popped up? It really does. Look at that. It really does. All right. I'm so glad y'all like the suit. You're making it on Saturday, Mary Kay. Okay. So, if I fold over the collar, I've got two different, I've got two different hankies if I fold over the designer paper. So, I'm actually going to cut it in half. If you're using cardstock, you don't have to worry about this. Then, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to layer these two together so that they are two points. Okay, two points that will come out of the pocket. So I'm gonna put a glue dot on the back of one of them. And then I'm going to add it about right there. Okay, see that? That's gonna be the handkerchief. That's gonna be your handkerchief, okay? So let's see, I'll use some some seal here just to attach it. We might have to do a little trimming. Yep. So that's gonna be the hanky. I'm gonna trim off that little point and then I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna trim off that little point. All right. Now I know you're surprised, but yes, I'm gonna pop this off because it looks amazing. All right. So I'll put that there and there. All right. And then if you want, you can actually tuck that pocket just right under the lapel if you want. You can position the pocket anywhere you want, but that's where I've decided to do mine, okay? Now, you can add buttons to the suit, which is what I did on this card. I added two gray buttons there, okay? But I didn't add it for this suit. I didn't think it would show up very well. All right, let's go back to our card base. And we're going to work on that. Okay. And let's see. Let's do the inside. All right. We're going to put some, whisk, some basic white paper on the inside. And this paper is measuring, this card stock, it's measuring four inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay, and then we're just gonna put some seal on here and we're gonna add it to the inside and center. All right, so not the most perfect centering, but it is there. Now we're gonna do a bit of stamping and I'm gonna do it on this piece of paper right here. And we're going to do, I think I'm gonna do happy birthday. Let's see, I'm looking for some stamps. I think I'm gonna do a happy birthday to you again. I know we used that on the last card, but we're gonna do that again and we're gonna use Knight of Navy, okay? All right, I'm gonna ink this up. Just like that. I think I added ink to this Knight of Navy, so it's pretty dark. And then we need our punch, 
and we're going to use the Tailor Made Punch. And we're going to go in here and center that. Just like that. Now this piece here has to be popped up, okay? So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to add dimensionals. And this is the popped up part. I know, isn't this, Simone, I'm out of this paper. I might have half a sheet left. I, <laughs> I know, boo-hoo is right. All right, ladies, this is what is going to hold this paper up, okay? So that's why we're working on this now, and that's why it's popped up. So, first of all, when you add it, you don't want to add your words way down here, okay? Because then you're going to get, it's going to be too long and it may not stand up. So it's kind of hard to explain, but you want it to look like a tent. The other nice thing is you can actually put it anywhere you want on the card. I've got this on the right side. You could center it, you could put it on the left side. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like, okay? See what it looks like? This is stopping it. And then that's what it looks like. So it looks like a tent, okay? So that's what you want. You don't want it way out here, all right? You want it to look like a tent. So I hope that makes sense. And then it'll stand up for you, all right? I'm gonna use this bone folder and get some nice, sharp creases in here. All right. So now we're ready to add the suit, okay? So guess where we're gonna add the adhesive? It's gonna go right here. Get this thing moving again, and we're going to put it at the top and the bottom and both sides. All right, now let me show you where that is on the panel. Okay, that's where it's going. All right, now this time you're going to adhere the suit from the bottom up. All right, so here is the bottom of the paper. This is the bottom of the suit. And then you're just going to add this. You want it straight. And you're just gonna add that there. All right, somebody's going home with this card tonight. Wonder who it's gonna be. Now look what happens when you open it. It only tapes the bottom part, okay? I'll go ahead and zoom out a bit. So it just tapes the card on the, um, the bottom part, all right? And there it is. All right, so that's what it looks like. Okay, and that, there it is. All right, no, I didn't use tear and tape for this. Yeah, the tenfold, thank you, thank you, Monica. <laughs> yes, the tenfold or the easel card, yes. <laughs> oh, Diane wants to take this home tonight. Okay, so that's the suit card, okay? That's the more complicated one. If you're one of my Hostess Club ladies, then you have already made this in class or you're going to make it in class this Saturday or you were giving a kit with the, the die cut pieces, okay? But there isn't any stamping, okay? But you can use any stamp set to do this, okay? It doesn't have to be the handsomely suited. Okay, makes sense. Hi, Corinne, welcome and thank you. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our last card. All right, I'm gonna put that one aside. Let's see, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Thank you, Ann Ethel, she likes my card too. All right, our last card this evening is this one, and this is just another fun fold using that same designer paper. 
So let's take a quick look. By the way, you see this bow tie? This, hang on, let me find a pocket. Do I have a pocket? I wanna show you what happens here. <laughs> I'm looking for a pocket. Here we go. Okay, see this pocket? That could be the hanky coming out of the pocket, okay? <laughs> oh, some Old Spice would be nice. Yes, I love it, Laura. So that could be your hanky there. And you can use the other bow tie as well. So you've got a, a few options for that, okay? All righty. So for this card, we're actually going to be doing something really fun. We're gonna be using the basic borders. All right, let me show you that new die set. It has six different borders, okay? Here they are, six different ones. And when you cut out their borders, this is what you get. They are all stitched every single one of them. There is stitching on the entire border, okay? So this is actually the border we're using tonight. It is a little hard to see the stitching because it's in basic gray, okay? But that's the one we're using. I love these, and I'm gonna be using these a lot in July, okay? They're called Basic Borders Dies, and I believe it retails, oh, for $29. It's right here, okay? $29, page 162 in the annual catalog, and um, your item number is 155558, okay? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we've got to get our cardstock cut, okay? <clears throat> So we're going to use a standard sheet of cardstock. <coughs> this measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and then it's scored at four and a quarter inches, okay? We're going to need our stamp and cut emboss machine. And this was another reason I used the larger machine tonight is because I knew I had this wide um, border die to use. All right. All right. And here's my die right here. And this die is about the width of this cutting pad, okay? And again, you kind of have to eye it. Of course, you could measure if you want. And I'm kind of eyeing it sideways right now. So this should be very interesting. But I think that'll do it. Yes, you can add some post-it notes. You could add, um, what else can you use? You can use, um, I'll, it'll come out in a minute. I'm sorry. You could use washi tape if you wanted. All right. So I'll put post-it note on here because That'll just kind of help me keep it in place. All right. And we'll put this cutting pad on here. And then we'll roll it through. Now I'm a little concerned because that die, well, you can't see that, and I'm sorry. That die is sticking out right there, and I'm a little concerned about that. So I am going to move it over. All right, because that will catch on the machine and then it'll go sideways. So hopefully that will work now. All right. Okay. All right, at this point, there we go. We've got our finished edge. Isn't that beautiful? I hope you can see that. I know it's harder with darker cardstock. All right. Now, we're gonna do one more thing to it while we have our machine here. We're going to use this embossing folder. It's in the annual catalog, and I think it's called Tasteful Textures. I might be wrong on the name. 
but um, it is a current um, embossing folder. Okay, so since I'm using an embossing folder tonight, oh, wait a minute, you know what? This one is 3D. I need number four plate, because this is a 3D folder that I'm gonna use. So if you ladies will hang on, I will go get my number four plate. Forgot to do that. Okay, so this embossing folder is 3D, all right? So it's thick. So this sandwich is telling us we need number one. Here's number one. Then we need the paper and the embossing folder. Okay, so let's do that. And I'm going to emboss the front, okay? The front of the card, okay? And then we're gonna put the number four plate on top. All right, everybody following? I haven't used this plate that much, believe it or not. Okay. And now it's rolling through just fine. I'm shaking the camera there. All right. So yeah, it is important to look at this platform and figure out the sandwich. Let's open that up. All right. And that one didn't do as well as I wanted it to. I wish it had embossed a little bit up there but um, it's not that noticeable because it is a different color cardstock. It's a darker color. It's a darker color, so. All right, let's do the inside. We're going to um, put a sheet of basic white inside, and it measures, this is gonna measure about four and an eighth of an inch, okay? Now the reason it's not four and a quarter is the score line. If it was four and a quarter and I put it in, it's gonna be harder for this to fold. So I always cut that just a little bit, okay? All right, now, um, <laughs> this is um, five and a half inches, okay? Now your designer paper is six and a half inches, which is like way too long. We'll be trimming that. And then the width, that's the important part, one and a half inches, okay? All right. First of all, I'm gonna trim this paper a little bit. I can trim it more afterwards, but that was too long. Okay, so. Get this going here. We're going to adhere this to the bottom of the basic white. And now I can trim it. But I love the borders using those on the card bases because you can show off the designer paper on the inside. And it's so, so pretty. All right, I know I love the embossed cardstock. It is so, so pretty. Then I'm just gonna add that to the inside, okay? There we go. I didn't measure something right. I'm still a little off there. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? It almost looks like a purse, doesn't it? A clutch. I just love that. All right, well, let's add some designer paper. And this is really about how much I totally have left. Let's measure. Um, we've got two and a quarter inches and three and one eighth of an inch. Okay, and we're gonna tape that to the center of the card. So that's where we'll put this. All right, we're gonna do a little stamping and on some basic white paper. 
And I was thinking, well, I guess I don't. I was thinking I had a piece of the cardstock already cut, but I do not, which is fine. We're gonna do Knight of Navy, all right? And we're gonna do Have a Happy Father's Day, Handsome, okay? And we're gonna stamp that right in the center, just like that. And we're gonna need a red bow tie. And I believe I already have one. I know I had one. Did I use the red bow tie on another card? I'm thinking I did. If so, we will do another one. All right. So we've got two things we're gonna cut out. Let's do this in Poppy Parade. I am so sorry, I dropped my glasses. Oh, I know, you're absolutely right, Sue. And there's a little round oval in the die set, and that could be the little um, button for the clutch. Yep, it could happen. I can see that now. All right, there's our bow tie. So we're gonna go back to our stamp and cut emboss machine. And we're going to cut these two items and we'll finish putting it together. Now, let me show you where this die is coming from. All right, we're gonna use it to cut this. And it's barely gonna fit. And it's from Tasteful Labels, all right? So I'm finding that um, I like using these a lot. All right, now let me get, um, the bow tie. So those are the two things we need. All right, so we are back over here. I know we're with platform one, two, three, Maybe we'll try and do both of these at the same time. Now you could have used your mini for these for sure. All right. And then your third cutting pad. All right. All right. Ooh, all right. I'll have to tell you all about those, Corinne. All right. Remind me at the end, Corinne, and I'll tell you about the magnet sheets, okay? All right. All righty. Put that away. Get this. All kinds of little bits and pieces. Now you know why I cut so much of it tonight, because um, it's quite a bit. All right. That's gonna go in the center. I just thought this was a fun, quick card. And this is gonna go right here. All right. <laughs> Oh, good question. The bow tie color is Poppy Parade, and the words are stamped in Knight of Navy. Great question.